Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request today, Mr. Bill's in a better rehab now. Pray that they can help him. This pretty lady would like prayer for her boyfriend who's in jail. He's a good person, just makes mistakes. Pray he'll be okay and back to her soon. And uh, uh, pray that William, who's in prison, stays in his Bible and stays safe. Pray for Betty, who is having some problems. Pray for Tiffany. She has a neurological disorder. Claudine Haney has an unspoken request. Kiki's the same, and so is her dad. Uh, her mother had a heart attack also uh, night, a couple nights ago, but she got to come home, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, pray for all of them that they get better. Kim's mom took a COVID test, and it was positive. Pray that she gets better. Pray for Rhonda's friend, Kimberly. She's in the hospital with cancer. Okay, everybody. <coughs> All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Genesis 21, 9 through 19. But Sarah saw that the son whom Hagar, the Egyptian, had borne to Abraham was mocking. And she said to Abraham, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that woman's son will never share the inheritance with my son Isaac. The matter distressed Abraham greatly because it concerned his son. But God said to him, Do not be so distressed about the boy and your slave woman. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. I will make the son of the slave into a nation also, because he is your offspring. Early the next morning, Abraham took some food and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. He set them on her shoulders and then sent her off with the boy. She went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. When the water and the skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat down about a bow shot away, for she, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. God heard the boy crying, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What is the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift the boy up and take him by the hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. So she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. Okay. All right, I'm going to drink a water. Our devotion today is entitled, All Alone. Sue's family was falling apart before her eyes. Her husband had suddenly left the home, and she and her children were confused and angry. She asked him to go for marriage counseling with her, but he wouldn't because he claimed the problems were hers. Panic and hopelessness set in when she realized he might never come back. Would she be able to care for herself and her children alone? Hagar, a servant of Abraham and Sarah, faced these, those thoughts as well. Impatient for God to give them a son as promised, Sarah gave Hagar to her husband, and Hagar gave birth to Ishmael. However, when God fulfilled his promise and Sarah gave birth to Isaac, Family tensions erupted such that Abraham sent Hagar away with her, with their son Ishmael with just some water and food. Can you imagine her desperation? Soon they ran out of provisions in the desert. Not knowing what to do and not wanting to see her son die, Hagar put Ishmael under a bush and walked a distance away. They both began to sob, but God heard the boy crying. He heard their cries, provided for their needs and was with them. Times of desperation when we feel all alone cause us to cry out to God. What a comfort to know that during those moments and throughout our lives, He hears us, provides for us, and stays near to us. How has God provided for you when you felt alone? 
How have you responded to him? I'm grateful, God, that I never really walk alone. Help me in my desperation. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.